Clinton emails, are they real? I'm going to answer that question right now if they're real. And look, it's in this PolitiFact article right here, right? And you can look this up yourself. Go to PolitiFact. Uh, they have, are the Clinton Wiki, Wiki, Wiki Lee's emails doctored or are they authentic? And this is an article to pay attention to. Now, because the Clinton campaign is putting forward that, you know, they might be altered. Uh, they might, you know, be some fraud in there. But there's no fraud. Because all of the emails carry a digital signature. And so it is real. So if you go here and, you know, go down the page, right, it, this explains to you exactly, you know, what I'm talking about, right? So if anything changed in this email, it would not authenticate through uh, Gmail. But like they changed something here, they changed the date, and look, it's, all of a sudden it, it flags as invalid. So the emails are real, Right. And, you know, what's this stuff about Russian intelligence, you know, coming in here and, you know, busting up John Podesta's Gmail account, right? When I was a low-level employee at Travelers Insur Insurance, a low, as a low-level employee at Travelers Insurance, right? In order for me, a low-level employee, to access the email system, I had to have this token where the code would change, you know, and it was such a high, secure operation, Right. I wasn't even handling classified data. I wasn't handling sensitive information, none of that. And I had to have all this shit to log into their email system to send a simple email. So, you know, this guy, John Podesta, he doesn't understand technology. He's, he's running this highly sensitive campaign, highly sensitive information. Maybe some classified information is on there, but definitely everything he's working with is very, very sensitive. And he sits there and he gets on and he has this Gmail account with his own name on it, John Podesta. I mean, that's like, that's like, you know, that's like walking down the street in a bad part of Brooklyn or the Bronx with $5,000 of cash in your hand. It's like, hit me now, hit me now. And that's what he, you know, that's what you get for having emails. That's John Podesta at gmail.com. And the guy's like over 60 years old. Cause I could picture him. He's on the bus or whatever, banging away on his computer. And he types it in and his passwords runner four, five, six, seven across all of his accounts. So he'd be logging onto his Twitter account. He's banging away and someone's looking over his shoulder and you know, someone is. So, you know, and it could have been one of his coworkers. Who knows who could have been? I even talked to someone who said, you know what? They don't even need to see him type in his password. They could just get into his account anyway. So it could be anyone and it, it may not be the Russians, but let's say it came from the Russians, right? You know, do we have a patriotic duty not to look? What about, do we have a patriotic duty not to look at Trump's tax returns? You know, they blew that way out of proportion and stuff. And also when it comes to their emails, you know, they've got a totally different story. We shouldn't look, you know, it's the reds, the red people, the Russians. And, and for the record, I don't have anything against the Russians. I just feel they're a competing country. They got competing interests. United States has their own competing interests. We all have these competing. We're all competing against each other, like, you know, two opposing football teams, but they're not the enemy. You know, they're just a competing country. That's it. So to sum it up, the emails are real. We should go ahead and read them. And if you don't read these emails, if you don't take them into account, then you shouldn't take into account Trump's tax returns or any of the shit that they dug up on Trump, you know? So I'm looking at Podesta's emails and I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm wondering, should someone like Hillary Clinton become president? She got $12 million from Morocco, you know, just for $12 million for a speech. That's insane. It's insane. $12 million, right? It's not if Hillary is corrupt, it is she is corrupt. And no matter how crazy, you know, Trump might be, you know, he's not going to be this corrupt. He's not going to be this criminal like Hillary Clinton, you know, because this is some real criminality, except for $12 million, hid shit from the FBI. I mean, it, it just keeps going and going and going and going. You know, around here, you get arrested for just writing two or three wrong words on a police report. You get arrested, you know, and she, and she doesn't get arrested at all for anything. I, be, I bet she could get away with running someone over or shooting someone. You know, and she's very corrupt and she's too well known. So the point is, is we should look at the emails. The emails are real. They are authentic, no matter what lies the Clinton campaign puts out. Are the Clinton emails, are they real? I'm going to answer that question right now if they're real. And look, it's in this PolitiFact article right here right and you can look this up yourself go to politifact 
uh, they have are the Clinton wiki, wiki, WikiLeaks emails doctored or are they authentic? And this is an article to pay attention to. Now, because the Clinton campaign is putting forward that, you know, they might be altered, uh, they might, you know, be some fraud in there, but there's no fraud because all of the emails carry a digital 